Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can upgrade your Windows 10 computer to the latest version of Windows 10, which is 22H2. Now this is going to work for any version of Windows 10, all the way back to version 1507. So let's go over to the Windows 10 computer now, and I'm going to show you how to update any Windows 10 to 22H2. Okay. So as you can see, I have Windows 10 pulled up and this is version 1507. And if I go down here to the start button and I click on it, you can see it looks a lot different than it normally does. If I type in CMD and I open up command and I type WinVER, Right there, it's going to pull it up and show you that this is the version that came out in 2015, and it was billed 10,240, which is version 1507. So I'm going to go in here and show you the easiest way to get this up to date to 22H2. So I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to close out of the command prompt. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto the internet and of course, I'm going to use Microsoft Edge just because it's built into the Windows 10. So I'm going to click on it right down here in the taskbar. Now, if you don't have yours in the taskbar, just click on the start button. And then you want to go to all apps right down here. And you want to scroll down in the list and you want to click on Microsoft Edge. Now here, we're going to go to DuckDuckGo.com and I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to search for download Windows 10 installation assistant. And then I'm going to click on the search button or you can also press enter. And that's going to pull up a list of results for you. What you want to do is you want to go to the Microsoft website and we're going to click on this download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And I'm going to click on that and that's going to take me to the website where you could actually download the installation media. But if you'll notice right here is the update assistant for 22H2. So I'm going to click on update now. And then it's going to start downloading that file. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to view my downloads. And there's the download right there. And if I go down here and I click on File Explorer, and if you don't have File Explorer there, that's okay. Just right click on the Start button. And then you can go to File Explorer. And then you want to click on Downloads. And there you go. It should be that one right there, the Windows 10 Upgrade 9252. And yours may have a different number, but it's going to say Windows 10 Upgrade and then have a number. Then you want to right click on that and run it as administrator. And then if it asks, is it all right for this app to make changes to your PC, go ahead and click yes. Now here, it says update to the latest version of Windows 10. We're going to go ahead and click update now, and it's going to go from version 10,240 all the way up to version 22H2, which was the last version that they released for Windows 10. And then there's, of course, some supplemental updates that come after 22H2. So we're going to go ahead and update it now, and it's going to check the CPU, the memory, and the disk space, and then everything is going to work with it. So we're going to go ahead and click Next, and then it's going to download the file. Now, you can go ahead and close out a File Explorer and Microsoft Edge because you're not going to need those anymore. All we're going to do is let that download, and then it's going to give us a prompt to install. So let's give that just a few moments. We'll let it download, and then we'll install it, and I'll show you when it comes back up that we're up to date with Windows 10 version 22H2. And then I'll show you how to install those supplemental updates so that you can stay secure if you happen to still be running Windows 10 on your computer. So I'll be right back in just a few moments.
Okay, so as you can see, it's now wanting me to restart the computer. And if I didn't do anything, in 28 minutes and 33 seconds, it would go ahead and restart the computer for me. But I'm going to go ahead and click restart now so that I can go ahead and get this Windows 10 computer all the way up to date so that I won't have any updates that are lingering. So go ahead and click restart now. And then that's going to go ahead and finish getting it up to Windows 10 22H2. So I'll be right back once the 22H2 is installed. And I'll show you the rest of the steps you need to take to make sure your Windows 10 computer is fully up to date. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost finished with the updates for Windows 10. So let's give it just a minute to finish booting up, and then I'm going to log in, and I'm going to show you how to finish installing the rest of the updates. So I'll be right back. All right, so after I logged into the computer, it had a few more updates that it needed to install. So I let those go ahead and finish, and now the Windows 10 computer is back up. So now if I go back over here to the Start button and I click on it, and then I type in CMD, and I press Enter, and then I type in WinVER and press Enter, it's going to tell me that I'm now on version 22H2. And so that is the build that I wanted to get updated to. And so now this thing is up to date, except for a few lingering updates that we might need to install. So what we can do is go ahead and close this. And I'm going to close the command prompt. And I'm going to click on the start button. And then we're going to go into the settings, which is right here. And then, once the settings opens up, we're going to click on Update and Security right here. Now, when you click on Update and Security, you want to click on Check for Updates. So go ahead and click on that, and that's going to tell you if there's any more updates for Windows 10. Now, you can go ahead and upgrade to Windows 11 if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and close this for now because I want this one to stay on Windows 10 for the moment. Now, as you can see, it downloaded quite a few updates for Windows 10. And there may actually be a few more updates. If you'll notice, there's some optional updates right here. And if you'll scroll down to the bottom, you can go to Advanced Options. And then when the Advanced Options opens up, you can turn on updates for other Microsoft products. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can leave it off if you want to, but I like this because it'll update some of your .NET framework, Visual C++, anything that Microsoft has made, it'll make sure it's up to date as well, even including your Microsoft Office. So I like to turn that on, and then I'm going to click this little arrow right here, which is going to take me back to the Windows Update. Now that's going to take a few moments to download all those updates and install them. But as soon as those finish, we're going to restart it again and make sure there's no more updates. So let me go ahead and install those, restart it, and then we'll check again to make sure everything is up to date. So I'll be right back. Okay. So as you can see, it finished installing all of those updates that it found. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on Restart Now. And then it's going to restart the computer and it's going to finish installing those updates. And then when it comes back up, you'll want to go back through the same steps again by clicking on the Start button, then going back to your settings and then going into Update and Security, and then clicking on the Windows Update and checking to see if there's any more updates for the computer. But that should get your computer up to date so that you can stay secure with your Windows 10.
So I hope that was helpful on how you can keep your Windows 10 computer up to date and make sure it stays secure. And the only other thing I would suggest is to make sure you put a good internet security or antivirus software on your computer. That's going to keep your computer protected from any rootkits, malware, spyware, trojans, any kind of infection that might get on your Windows computer. If you do have any questions, or you just need me to go more into depth on how to update your Windows 10 computer to the 22H2 and get all the updates installed, please let me know down below in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create with a topic, an article, or even something that you would like for me to make a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you want to support this channel, I've included a link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I upgrade my Windows 10 to the latest version and keep it up to date, and I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.